the missing lioness in the long grass caught a baby wildebeest. During that massive stampede coming past, the, I think she's the one we initially saw running straight in. Yep. Here we go. The others, the female and the cubs, uh, have now joined her. We managed to find them again moving through the grass. So, not a very big wildebeest, but definitely enough to keep them well fed till morning. Clever girl, you. I can hear her ripping into the flesh. We have a little look a little bit to the right. A little bit down. I heard the cubs there, but more to the right. Keep going. There we go. Up. There we go. I heard them there. Ow. And then the third lioness is lying just behind them where we can't see her at the moment. So, there was success in the long grass. Susie says they take down a lot of babies. Uh, yes, they do, Susie. Baby wildebeest are much easier to catch than big wildebeest. They're not as fast, so uh, it's an easier prey. And most predators, if, haven't, if they have the choice, will take the easiest thing to catch. And in a lot of cases, that is a baby. Sounds like another lion coming in. It's come wider a bit. I can hear some. There we go. That's a little cub sneaking in. Shahir is wondering how many females in this pride. Well, Shahir, there are three females in this grouping of this pride, but in total, um, there are five females. Um, five females let me just try and remember exactly now I could be wrong there could be more but I've only seen five adult females uh, three young females three young males what do we got now eleven and then of course the two big notch boys you better I might might want to put in their parents after there's a nomadic male bombing around here at the moment. Oh, she's her ears are up. I think they they are listening to see if that male comes in. Hi, Stacy. Stacy's wondering, have there been any hyena herd in the area? Uh, Stacy, I've heard them calling it the in the distance, but I haven't heard any very close to where we've been this evening. But they are definitely around. Well, as I say that, I hear one in the distance now. Ooh. Now the cubs aren't that hungry. They ate the majority of the last wildebeest that was killed uh, probably during the day sometime yesterday. You can see this little one looks like it's just lapping up some of... Oh no, smelling some urine. And you can see they're very, very attentive because that male probably not too far away. And although they, they did give him a good chase. The more noise they make on a kill, the more likely they are to attract unwanted attention, such as that male lion, or even hyenas if there are any close by. I remember this is 100% alive. You're watching nature's drama unfold. Hi, Adele. Adele is wondering, is there an order to who eats? Uh, whoever's most hungry and most aggressive eats first. Now, 
Now in this case it looks like this female actually caught um, this little wildebeest. And of course it is quite difficult for us to keep track with them in the, in, in the long grass as they speed through. And unfortunately we're not able to do the exact same speed. But we're, I think, a minute or so behind her. Catherine's wondering at what age will the lion cubs be safe from hy hyenas? Uh, it's a very difficult question, Catherine, because it completely depends on uh, on the time of the year and the area. So I don't think a lot of people forget it's no, no set age. At the moment, the hyenas are probably not too fussed with lions because there's just so much food around. But say in January or February, uh, she they might be in far more danger because there will be a lot more competition for food because the migration is not in this area. But you probably say normally from about a year old they should be safe from hyenas. These guys are about five, six months old. Of course the hyenas will take, if they are around, the opportunity to try push these lions off a carcass. Um, as a free meal is better than one you have to work for yourself but at the moment I think there's so, there's so many meals around oh she's looking back again I was going to wonder if that male's going to come back Uh, Sarah is wondering what area are we in? Sarah, we are to the east of Lookout Hill, and uh, on the eastern bank of the Mara River, uh, we're probably about forty or ooh, forty-five kilometers, uh, maybe a little bit less than that, as the crow flies from where Jamie uh, is working, and a little bit less than that, probably about thirty kilometers, twenty-five, thirty kilometers from where Scott is. Okay, well everything's calm right now, so we're not going to move. We never know if that male might come back or if hyenas might come patrolling in. Uh, but so far, tonight has been successful for the Pungarot Pride.